Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own app using Jotform Apps. Jotform Apps is a free, no-code app builder that anyone can use. With Jotform Apps, you can build an app for your own business, for a company, for a department, or even your team. You can bundle forms that you want your users to complete within your app. You can create internal portals, even include contact buttons for your users to reach you, and they even have payment widgets, all kinds of things that you can play around with. And the neat thing is, is that once your users access the app, they can save it and download it to any mobile device. Since my background is in human resources, I'm going to show you how to use Jotform apps for an HR related use. Specifically today, we're going to look at creating an employee incident reporting app. But even if you don't work in HR, be sure and watch this video so you can learn how to use the Jotform app builder and create an app for your very own use and anything you can think of. In fact, I've created an app for my YouTube viewers that you can access. There's a link in the description below this video. And when you access the app, it's kind of an extension of my website. You can get a couple of free downloads that I normally send to folks who sign up for my email list. You don't have to save the app onto your device, but you can access it in that link in the description below the video. I'm going to show you how I built that app after we take a look at the employee incident reporting app. There's going to be timestamps in the description below this video. So if there's a certain part of this video that you want to jump to or to rewatch later, you'll be able to do that. I have an affiliate link to Jotform in the description below this video, so be sure and sign up using that link. It helps to support this channel and I really appreciate that. I want to thank Jotform for sponsoring this video and for offering an awesome drag and drop app builder that anyone can use even without any prior coding knowledge. All right, let's get started. When you first log into Jotform, you land here in the My Forms area. And here I have a couple of forms that I have been using. And the one form that I want to show you real quickly is this Employee Incident Report form. I've already taken a look at it and customized it a little bit. It's one of the templates that Jotform offers. So I'm going to click on Edit Form so we can take a look at this form. What I'm going to do is I am going to build an app around this form so that my employees who might be out and about in the facility, if an incident or accident happens that they need to report, they'll be able to have an app right on their mobile device that they can access. And then this form will be embedded within that app. And there might also be some other elements in the app that they can access, like some downloads of information or different ways to contact a department or someone who might be able to help them with an issue. All right, so this is just the incident report form, and this is in the Jotform app builder. So again, check out my other video on how to create fillable forms in Jotform. You'll see how you can build a form like this and how you can edit it and add different elements. I'm going to go back out to Jotform. And then from here, we are going to click on the My Forms drop down here, and then we're going to select My Apps. And this will take us into the app builder area of Jotform. And let's go ahead and click on create app. Now you can use a template. So I'll show these to you real quick. We're going to create one from scratch, but if you click on use a template, it'll bring up the template library and you can come over here on the left hand side and you can search uh, by different categories. So if you click on human resources, there are several templates that are already out here that you can check out. And these are elements that already have some design to them. They might already have certain buttons or color schemes that you might like. So feel free to check those out. You can always preview those and use it, and then you can edit and customize from there. And that way you don't have to start one from scratch. But I'm going to go back and we are, I'm going to click on start from scratch. All right, here we have three tabs up at the top. You'll notice the build, the settings, and the publish. So in this build area is where we can add all of the different elements that we may want to include in our app. So we can change the logo up here. We can title our app. All we have to do is click in that area and it'll bring up the properties tab over here, the window over here will pop up and we can come over and type what we want to call this. All right, and now I can click on logo and I can remove the Jotform logo and we can go ahead and upload our own logo file. All right, and now I can click X to close out of that. Now I want to add my first element. I'm going to come over here to add element 
and let's add a heading. So I'm just gonna drag that over here, and here I'll have a heading, and I'm gonna call this Incident Report Form. Now you'll notice with each of the elements, you have the option over here for additional settings that you can access. You can change the style, um, alignment, the color. Uh, you can include a subheading. So that little button over there will expand the heading properties or the settings for that element of, you, uh, of your app. But I'm gonna close out of there. And if you are interested in deleting that section and redoing it or adding something different, you can always delete from over here as well. Now I'm going to come over here and I am going to add a form into my app here. And this is where I'm going to be able to select that employee incident report form. And I'm going to click add forms. And if I needed to, I could also edit the form from here. So if, I, if there were any further edits that I needed to make to that form, I could um, go ahead and do that by editing the form up here. It would take me back into the form editor uh, where we were originally. Um, I can also click on settings from here. And with these settings here, I can access um, different things. I can um, have display buttons for if I want to make the form required. So if this is an app that once someone accesses it, they definitely have to fill out the form, you can actually turn that feature on to make it required. It adds a little logo that indicates that that's a required element that the user would need to complete. And then we'll um, mark that as completed once it's been done. Uh, you can even reset that completed marking after a certain period of time. If you enable that feature, you'll notice that you have the ability to set either uh, daily or weekly um, that you're able to um, to reset the uh, completed marking on that app so that people can reuse the form within that app at any time. So you can set that up if you're interested in using that. I'm going to turn it on to reset daily in case someone might need to uh, use that form again or that app again. They can keep it on their phone and it'll reset the form for them so the next time they open it, it'll be a fresh form that they can fill in. Um, there's a style editor over here that you can also use to align and adjust the way that uh, your the elements look once you've previewed your app. You can change the way things look. You can center things or right, justify, left, justify, that type of thing. So a lot of different features that you can use to design what you want your app to look like. All right, so I'm gonna close out of this feature right now. And I just wanna show you to this button element over here. If I drag this button over here, um, this is a button that I can use to program. If I come over here to settings, I can choose to have that button uh, take a user out to a specific link. So if I need to link that user out to a safety website or something uh, like that that might have information to help them, I can um, use a uh, visit URL link and it will allow me to um, edit what that uh, button says. It can say go to safety website or whatever you want it to say. And then you can include the hyperlink there. Um, we can actually have that button be an email Email. So if you select send email, uh, you can title that button, whatever you want to say, email HR or email the safety department, whatever you want that button to say. And you can then um, select who the recipient of that email uh, would be. Uh, it might be an inbox, uh, general inbox or someone's specific email. Um, you can even use that button to make a phone call. So you've seen a lot of those restaurant apps where you can uh, call the restaurant and make a reservation or something like that. Uh, if you needed the employee to be able to call HR or call a safety department after an incident, you could click the make call button and then put in the phone number um, that they would need to punch uh, to call the right department to let them know um, an incident had happened. And then you can also um, select a few other options for those buttons, but those buttons are really a great feature. Um, I'm going to use the say make a call and let's say we had a phone number um, that the employee would need to call once an incident had happened if they have an emergency and need to report that. All right, so I'm gonna click close. Now, if I wanna add a second page to my app, so for example, uh, the main page of your app might be where you mainly keep 
all the elements and people would just scroll down to access all those different elements. But if you wanted to add a second page to your app, you can do that by clicking that add new page like I just did there and it adds another element. And so maybe on the second page, I want to include a document. Uh, for example, maybe this is a PDF document of some safety tips or something that I want the employees to be able to access from the app. So I dragged the document element over there and I'm going to click on upload file and then I can select a PDF from my computer that would include some safety tips. I'll select a file. It will upload there as a PDF. All right, so if you are interested in any of the widgets, you can also drag and drop any of the available widgets into your app that you can use. Um, those are over here on the left-hand side that you can scroll through and check out. So I've stuck with some of the basic things for my employee incident reporting app. And now I'm gonna come over here to settings. Under app settings, you can come over here on the left hand side and click on app name and icon. And so if I wanted to change the way that the app icon looks, I can come over here and click on edit icon. I can remove this image and replace it with a different image. All right, and now I am going to close out of that and I want to take a look at the splash screen. And this is the splash screen that the employees will see once they open up the app on their device. If I want to customize that, you can click customize. You can change the background color and the font color. Um, all you have to do is click on that element and select a different color. And um, you, can, you can play around and, uh, and use that feature. So I'm gonna click that and close out of there. Now, if we want to preview our app, we can come up here and click on preview app. This will bring us to a view that shows us what our app is going to look like, whether we are um, holding our device vertically or horizontally. You can scroll through and see what the app looks like. So here um, I have a couple of pages. Um, I have my incident report form and then my second page where I have resources. And so I may want to go back and add a header to that second page so that it shows up and says resources and it'll have a PDF there. Um, we have the form that when users click on that, it will open up to the form. They can fill out the form and uh, from there, and then they can also click call us and it will um, activate the phone on that mobile device and call the number that we programmed in there. If we want to try it on our device, you can actually come up here and you will um, be able to see a QR code that gets generated. You can download that. You can actually take a picture of that with your phone and it will open up the preview of that app on your phone. So that's a really neat feature that allows you to preview the app as it will look on your actual device. All right, so I'm gonna close this now. I'm gonna come back out to the build area and I'm going to go back to um, this page here and let's go ahead and add another element. If we wanna put a heading above that and let's put resources. And now I'm gonna preview the app again because I just wanna make sure that when users click on the additional pages within the app that they're gonna be able to see what's on the second page of that app. And now when they click on pages, they'll see they can toggle from the incident report form to the resources, and then they can download that template document. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the preview and then um, you have some publish options up here. So you'll click on publish. And this is the link that you can use to share your app. So this link can be placed anywhere that you need folks to access the app. Once they access this link, they'll be able to have the option. They'll be given instructions on their mobile device on how to save that app onto their device so that it shows up on a home screen of their device. So they don't have to go to an app store and download anything. They simply access this link link and um, or and or the QR code that you can create and it will allow them to download that app onto their device and access it. All right, so let's take a look at the app that I built for my website. I'm going to come back up here to the app builder. I'm going to go back to my apps. 
and I'm going to click on the Sharon Smith HR and I'm going to click edit. Okay, so here we are in the build tab of the app that I created. And so uh, this app is just intended for my viewers to have a quick way to access a couple of good resources and information on how to contact me or watch me on my YouTube channel. So down here we have um, my command buttons here that will allow folks to um, watch my YouTube channel. If they click that button, it'll take them out to my YouTube. Uh, they can sign up for my email list that will, this will take them out to where they can sign up for my email list and get several other free downloads when you do that. And then there's also my template shop that you can go to for some templates and downloads that I have available like resume templates and things like that. Then I have a section down here where my viewers can submit feedback. I have two quick questions that I'd love for my viewers to fill in and just let me know what type of content and videos that they're interested in seeing from me. So this is a quick two question survey that I put out there in hopes that my viewers will submit that feedback to me. And then down here, I created a couple of options where I included my video playlists for folks to access if they want to see some of my videos, some of the top videos that I wanted to highlight light. And then I had a second page to my app where I have some free resources that folks can access. So uh, this is just, uh, you know, something I wanted to include a couple of PDFs out there that folks can use and access for top word tips, some um, spreadsheet formulas for HR and things like that. So let's take a look at what this looks like when we download it onto our phone. So I'm going to go ahead over here to the publish tab. And I am going to click on the download QR code. So from here, I'm just going to access the camera on my phone and scan that QR code. It says open jot form in Safari. So I'm going to click that at the top. And it brings me to my app and then these instructions pop up that show me how I can save that. If I want to save that onto my home screen, I click the share button and then scroll down and click on add to home screen. And I'm gonna click add. And it adds the app down here on my home screen. I can click to open that up and it opens up the splash screen. Again, you can customize what that splash screen looks like and then it brings you into your app. So again, here I have buttons that take my users to my YouTube channel. If I want to click that, they can access my actual YouTube channel um, from within the app. I can, um, they can scroll and access that. I can click done when I'm done there. Um, they can click those other buttons to get to those other links that I'm taking them out to. And here is where they can submit feedback. Okay, so if I click on that, it will open up the quick two question survey that I've created for folks to fill out. So this is just a quick two questions on what type of content that people are interested in seeing from me. So I'm just going to fill in a couple of things here and then I'm going to scroll down and type a response for this question real quick. And then I'm going to scroll down and click on submit feedback and it'll show me that I have completed the form. So I'm going to close out of there. I'm going to click back and it takes me back out where I have my video playlists that I included a couple of elements for my videos uh, for folks that want to watch my videos from the app. And then up here on pages, I can go to that resource page, that second page that we built, and I can access the PDF downloads of a couple of those PDFs that I included. So top spreadsheet formulas for human resources. I'm going to close out of there and then I'm going to go back to the home page on my playlist and can access the main page of my app. Be sure and sign up for JotForm apps using the link in the description below this video. It's an affiliate link, so when you sign up using that link, it does help support this channel, and I really appreciate that. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.